All right, in this video, I'm going to go over how to um, log in to your NVR and how to uh, look at live view and the different options that you have within there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Internet Explorer browser and navigate to the address bar. And here's where you're going to want to enter either the IP address or the URL that your NVR um, is located at. So it could be... Um, you know, like www.whatever um, or http colon forward slash forward slash and then a name dot whatever. Okay, if you're local to the system, meaning you're in, you know, the system's on premise and you are within your organization as well, you'll probably want to type in an IP address, maybe 192.168. something dot something or something along that line. Okay, you should be able to get that from whomever set up your NVR. All right, so um, once you log in, you're gonna get to a screen that looks like this. You can type in your username and password. Again, you should have this information. If not, you're gonna wanna um, reach out to the person that um, installed your system. Now, if this is the first time that you're logging into it, you may, um, because you're using Internet Explorer, you're gonna need to download and install a plugin, and you're gonna get a notification right here across the center that's gonna Say you're gonna to need to install this plugin, um, click it, download it, and run it, or, or install it essentially. And then once it's installed, you will probably get another little notification down here at the bottom that's gonna ask you to allow that plugin to run. And you're gonna to wanna to definitely allow that to run. Now on occasion, um, it may refresh by itself. It all just depends. Um, if you, get, if you don't get to this screen right here, it still shows that you have a plugin notification that you need to download here, and you've already done it, and you've already allowed it, just simply close it and then log back in, and you should get right back to this screen. Okay, so now once you're logged in, and you got this screen here, um, there are a couple ways to bring up the cameras, one of which is the easiest way, in my opinion, is to come right down here to this icon, press that button, and it's gonna load all your cameras. Okay, this system only has four, um, so it kind of identifies that and it brings up all four cameras. If you look over here on the left, you'll see that, that, that here are the four cameras and this red indication that just went out indicates that motion was detected and um, it should have been recorded. Okay, if I come back down here and I select stop, it's gonna stop all the live view and if I want to select one camera at a time, I can select these different boxes depending on which where I want that camera to be viewed. I can put and just come over here, double click. It's going to put that camera there. Select the next box, double click the camera, and it populates that uh, window there with that camera. Down here on the left, you have your different views. I can select one view. Or I'm sorry, one box. And it's going to open it up large. I can select four. 3x3, three three, which would be 9, and a 4x4, four four, which is 16. Now, depending on how many cameras, might uh, dictate how, uh, what view you want to you view. Okay? Uh, I'm going to go back to the 4-box camera. I'm going to select all the cameras, so I'm going to hit Stop and then Play once again. It's going to bring up all the boxes, or I'm sorry, all the cameras. Now, let's say I wanted to zoom in. I'm going to select... I'm going to highlight this box by selecting it. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to zoom in by... Uh, selecting this icon right here. It's the magnifying glass with the plus. I select that. Now, since it's selected, it's, you can faintly see that it's blue. Now I can use my mouse and I can scroll in. I'm using the roller on the mouse, scrolling up to zoom in, out to, or back to zoom out. And if I zoom in, I can actually grab the screen and move it around. Okay, so pretty cool there. Now to stop the the zoom feature, I'm going to come back down to the magnifying glass and select stop. Now, if I double click on uh, one of the boxes, it's going to bring it up full screen, as you can see, and I don't have any options here. OK, so I'm going to double click again. It brings you right back to the view that I previously had. Now, if I want to uh, bring it up larger and still be able to navigate with the zoom feature, I'm going to come over here to the box. Now again, you're going to want to select which box that you want to view. Again, I'm going to select this one over here, um, this camera over there, and then select the single, and it brings it up larger. Okay. 
this is one I actually wanted. So I'm going to highlight it, bring up the single. Let's backtrack here. Okay, anyways, my mistake, it's gonna bring up the first box. So um, if we wanted to have this view, we would come here, select driveway, sorry, driveway, and then come back down to here, select one, and now I have it full featured, I'm sorry, full screen. Now I can select the magnifying glass, zoom in, grab the screen and move it all around. Now I'm gonna select the uh, magnifying glass again, and now it's back to the normal view. If I wanna bring up all four cameras, I can select the four box icon, come over here, hit stop, hit play again, and then it will bring them all up, all right? So that is live view in a nutshell. If you have any questions, definitely reach out. Thank you for your time.